Well, our toughest sabotages uh, were back and better than ever. Uh, let's uh, show Jet what he missed. Round one, the All-American breakfast. Number one, a heat assignment. Of course. Uh, one person's <laughs> going to end up cooking with a heat gun for, like, stripping paint. Yeah. Somebody's going to use that uh, hair iron, and then somebody's going to be stuck using the egg cooker from hell. <laughs> yeah. Chef Elliot won this. The uh, vertical egg cooker, obviously, with Chef Dustin. You know, although weird shaped, uh, actually cooks stuff pretty well, this yep. thing. Who do you think? got the heat gun. I think Chef Kathy got it. Because she had the least amount of heat on the plate. No. No way. She got the hair iron, which explains why uh, Chef Kathy had such a small amount of egg. Ah. Chef Joe actually got the heat gun. OK. But here's the issue. Chef Joe came out of the pantry without eggs and without meat. <laughs> What was he thinking? And I don't think he had any dairy either. He had like bread and potatoes. Okay. And a can of beans, apparently. Well, uh, clearly. I and mean, obviously he, banana. He, he sabotaged, sabotaged himself. Stuff. Yep. Our second sabotage item was a salmon wok prep and cook station. We'll you know, turn that thing on. You know now, I'm game. Imagine. That's crazy. All prep, all cooking. Done from this position while this was in motion. This is actually quite challenging because you can't get right up on your board. You can't. Which you need to. And, you know, I'm, I'm counting my calories right now. This is terrible. Yes. Oh. Who do you think got it? Kathy again, for some reason. Chef Kathy got she it. She did get so it. So Chef Kathy is now cooking with the hair iron while marching on this the entire time. This is terrible. Hello, Chef Alton. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm getting this is my like being in an old 40s musical, you know? Oh, we yeah. Can do like a little number like over this? here. Um, did you see the episode of uh, Cutthroat Kitchen where we used that device before? Yes. Did you? Yes. Good. Yes, yes. But in the end, you still sent Chef Joe home. Nothing on his plate made any sense. And you know, if you're gonna call something French toast and not have an egg custard, you're done in my book. Got it. Round two, chicken parmesan. There's a simple criteria. Yes. There's gotta be a breaded bread piece of chicken. Yeah. There's gotta be tomato yep. sauce, and there's gotta and be cheese. Cheese, exactly. Um, first sabotage, it's the whole chicken in a can. Oh. But Chef Kathy, again, got it. This explains so much about why her dish it was pretty off-putting in terms of protein. Let me ask you then, knowing that you're dealing with a basically a pre-cooked, yep. pre-shredded chicken, if you've got egg and you've got flour and breadcrumbs, what would you have done? You'd basically take all the bones out of it, compress as much moisture out of it, right? You try to press it into a cutlet, but with the eggs, it makes all the difference because you can bread it properly. And bind it with a little egg and breadcrumbs. Yeah. And by the way, she came out of the pantry without flour or eggs. Oh! They did it to themselves. Never, ever, ever leave that room without eggs and flour. Because you can, it's the molecular stuff of half of cuisine. Exactly. If you've got that, you can patch it up. A second up, something that we've used over and over and over again, and it never gets old, <laughs> the crumpled up French pan. You know, when people ask me yes. the sabotage I would least want to face, yeah. it's always this one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because whoever gets stuck with it has to use it exclusively for all of their cooking. Wow. Chef Elliot got stuck with that. But more importantly, Chef Elliot came out of the pantry without tomatoes. That's and that's amazing. why you thought his sauce was like some kind of funky mayo kind it of thing. It was, yeah. I think it was like a paprika and sour cream, which just doesn't even sound very good. Not it? at all, and it doesn't look very good either. No. He sabotaged him. Another one. He sabotaged himself right out of the game. Wow. So in the end of that round, you sent Chef Elliot home. Yeah, there was nothing on there that read Parmesan. There was no cheese, there was no sauce, and it just, it didn't play for me. So moving on, round three, crepes. <laughs> crepes, crepes, <laughs> right. it's crepes. And it we, is crepes. We, we both know it. And our first item up, bring in my lazy Suzette. <laughs> all right, Jet, whoever is stuck with this has to cook and do all their prep on this while it's moving. You can yeah. stop and do something here. Wait, Not efficient. Do something here, do something here. Or you can do what Chef Kathy did and yeah. just dance with this thing through the entire uh, challenge. How are you doing over there? Oh, I'm doing awesome. I'm getting a little workout again. <laughs> You know, as the room's starting to spin yes. a little uncomfortably, it's like, oh my gosh. That's a great Because I don't know idea. about you, but I think I'm going to throw up in a second. <laughs> it tends to be more of a head game than anything else. If you can get in a rhythm, yes. then, then you're then okay. You're and something like a crepe easily cooks on a butane burner. Exactly. As long as you've got the right pan and you've got the skills. But not fun. No. Not oh, fun at all. Oh, there's nothing about cut through a kitchen that's fun. <laughs> Except for me. Yeah, right, there it's you go. It's a lot of fun for me. But in the end, mm -hmm. even though we threw at them some of the worst sabotages of all time, most of the people that went, went for self-sabotage. Yeah. The sabotages you do to yourself are almost always worse than the sabotages others do unto 
you. So in the end, Chef Dustin wins. It's a crepe challenge, and his crepe was just superior. Got it. That's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for tuning in to Cutthroat Kitchen on Food Network. Continue to do so. Then come here to uh, foodnetwork.com slash cutthroat to watch our judge of the day and be introduced to all the horrors that they didn't know existed. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, thank you very much. You got it.